Good morning children. Welcome back to the math subject. How are you children? Hope all are fine and doing well. So now let's begin. Okay. Earlier we had learned about addition that means plus means adding more. So add means put together. So we learned adding with numbers and objects like 1 plus 0 is equal to 1, 2 plus 2 is equal to 4. That means 2 bananas plus 2 bananas is equal to 4 bananas. Altogether 4 bananas. We count all together we get 4 bananas. Next sum is 4 cows plus 4 cows is equal to how many cows? We need to count all the cows together. Ok children. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 cows all together. So children when we count all together we get 8 answer 8 cows in all. So today we are going to do introduction of addition word problems. That means word problem based on addition. Now children remember in addition whenever in the sentence will come all together join sum plus add combined both in all total increase. So we need to add. So in addition stories gives us some information then ask us to find something. So children we have to understand nearly what the information given is and what we have to find out. Then we have to find out the answer. Now here I had put up an example of word problem. Now here one here Kathan has two balloons. He is carrying two balloons. And Rina is carrying how many balloons? Count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven balloon Rina has carrying. So how many balloons all together they have now? So now we will count the balloons all together. Okay children. So count from Ketan. One, two. Now continue count with Rina has balloons. Okay. Three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 9 balloons all together. Ok children, they have 9 balloons all together. So now, now children, you had seen the question. In the question, they had asked all together. How many balloons all together? That means we are adding Ketan's Two balloons with Rina's seven balloons to find out how many are there all together. So you need to add two plus seven. Then you will get the total answer. That is nine. Two plus seven is equal to nine. Okay children. One more example. There are seven pencils. Two more pencils are added. Find the sum of the pencils. So in the first sentence, how many pencils are there? Seven. So in the box, you will write seven. The second sentence, how many pencils added more? 
two pencils so two you will write in the second box so that means you need to add plus sign so seven plus two is equal to how many you need to count all together the pencils okay then you will get the total answer nine so answer the sum of the pencil is nine children now we will go for another question Jia has five beads and Parmit has three beads. How many beads do they have together? Now here, first you have to take five number which Jia has beads. And then you need to add three with Parmit's beads like five plus Three, then you will get the answer total all together 8 beats. I hope all of y'all understood addition and the word problem. Right children? So stay safe and stay healthy. Okay children? Bye. Hello children. Good morning. Welcome back. Start your day with big smile. So welcome back to the max subject. So children in previous lesson we learn addition. That is how to add and with their word problems. Right children? So now today we are going to learn subtraction means minus or take away or to take away so minus means take away so that means subtract means also take away so what does a minus sign sign look like yes it looks like sleeping line so this is called subtracting from bigger number to smaller number okay children now as we had learned the zero means no object when zero is taken away from any number the difference is the number itself right children yes so now when you subtract zero you take away nothing nothing means zero so 7 minus 0 so what will come as a same number yes so so now let's begin with one example here are seven lollipops so let us count this lollipops 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 7 lollipops minus 0 is equal to 7 so children 0 has given that means nothing have to cross out or take away so the number does not change and answer will remain same okay children see here let's see this example 8 minus 0 now see children, in one bowl there are 8 apples and in another bowl there are 0 apples. So that means nothing. So the answer will come 8. So now can you see on the tree top there are few birds. So let us count the bird. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Six birds are there on the branch. Oh, look, two birds flew away. Now how many left? Let us count. One, two, three, four. There are four birds. There are now six minus two is equal to four. So out of six, we cut. 
2. So, we got the answer 4. Now, this is called minus simple. And that 2 sleeping lines is called equal to. So, now 6 minus 2 is equal to 4. Now, we will see here the another example. There are 2 apples. How many? 2 apples. So, 1 is taken away. So, how many left? 2 minus 1 is equal to 1 apple. So, we will see one more example. There are 3 apples in the basket. Now, from this basket, one apple has taken away. So, how many left? Two apples in the basket. So, three apples minus one apple is equal to two apples. So, three minus one is equal to two apples. Now, let's see another example. Oh, there are four cakes. Now, from four cakes, we take away one cake. So, how many left? One, two, three. Three cakes are left. So, four minus one is equal to three cakes. So, four minus one is equal to three cakes. Now, we will see then another example. That is, how many balls are there? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven balls. So, 1 is taken away. Now, how many left? Let us count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 balls are left. Now, see the difference. We got 6. Answer. So, children, do you know subtraction means what? Subtraction means to take away Smaller number from larger number. The, the answer obtained is called the difference. Okay, children. So, 7 minus 1 is equal to 6. So, children, 7 minus 1 is equal to 6. And we did in the vertical subtraction. Right, children? Now, let us see in horizontal way. Now, so here it is given 7 dots. Out of 7, 3 we have to take away. So, let us count how many remaining. 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 dots are remaining. Yes, children, 4 dots are remaining. So, the answer is 4. The answer is 4. So children, remember that we always take away smaller number from larger number. That means from big number. The answer we get is called the difference. So now here in one example, 7 apples. 2 take away. So how many left? Let us count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 apples are remained. So, 7 minus 2 is equal to 5. We got the 5. Now, next example. There are 4 corn ice creams. 2 is taken away. So, how many left? 2. So, 4 minus 2 is equal to 2. Now, we'll do with one more example. So, that is method with fingers. So, 7 minus 3. Now, put out your 7 fingers and then put down 3 fingers now. So, let us count and put down 1, 2, 3. 3 fingers we put down. So, how many left? Let us count. The remaining one. One, two, three, four. There are four fingers left. So, the four is the answer. So, seven minus three is equal to four. 
from big number to smaller number we get the answer in subtraction okay children so now let's start solve these questions 4 minus 2 is equal to how much with your finger you can too take out your forefinger put down the two finger and you will get the answer 2 so 9 minus 4 the next question 9 minus 4 is equal to 5 8 minus 0 is equal to 8 you will get the same answer Why we are getting the same answer because it's given 0 over there right children so 8 minus 0 is equal to 8 now next question is 5 minus 4 is equal to 1 7 minus 6 is equal to 1 so children hope you all understood so do practice nicely and neatly okay children so practice makes perfect stay safe and stay healthy bye